we're about to go on a fishing quest, aren't we? What's yeah. the target then today, guys? Catch a, catch a place. Catch a place. We're going out, we're going to try and catch a place. Um, but first stop we've got to get to is Angler's Den. The Angler's Den Tackle Shop for some lug worm. Right then, guys, here we are. We just pulled up outside the Angler's Den Tackle Shop in Pevensey Bay. It's an absolutely fantastic tackle shop. Right, so there it is, we've got the bait. Let's get down to the beach and do some fishing. Right, so here we are, then we just got down to the beach. It's a bit of an overcast day today, piers over there. And hopefully we'll be able to winkle a couple of fish out. Right, so the rigs I'm gonna be using today are the Trident Tackle Air Dynaform Pulley Rigs. Um, and I'm gonna be using that on a wishbone configuration, which is there. I'm just gonna bait that up now, and uh, we'll get it cast out. Right, so baits wise, as you can see, we've got the black lug there. We've got some fresh outs which are there and we've got some rag one which are there. Let's get baited up now. Right, now all I'm gonna do to bait up is I'm just gonna take one of the hooks, uh, using the Camazan size two hook, take one of the worms, pinch the tail off, nice and simple. Now I'm just gonna pass the tail end in first, feed the worm all the way around, pull the tail down, and you can just put push and pull and that's presented one worm which is on there. And then for the second side. I'm just gonna do the same. Take my worm. Tail end first. Just feed that tail end right round. Push it all the way up. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to come out just before the bottom, there. That's my two worms on me, my rig, hit points are there. Got a green and black bead with the uh, spinner blades on. My second rig I'm going to use some fresh outs, so I'm literally just going to grab one in. Again, same as the other worms, pierce them on. Come out just before the tail and then pinch the tail off because we're not going to need that. And that's one straight on there. Same again for the other side. Just going to choose one worm straight through the top. Just pass it through nice and slowly up and then pinch the tail off there so all the juices come out the bottom. And then that is my second rig there. Right, just a one rod for me today then, on the uh, wishbone rigs. Let's get cast out and see what the day brings. The kids have abandoned me, and they've gone to play. We've just got some swimmers turned up on the other side of the groin, so that's gonna make things interesting. But you know, we're out fishing and that's all that matters. Right, so I've enlisted some help with Orla. I've uh, paid her some crisps for her services, <laughs> and uh, she's now my camera lady. Happy days. Right, we're getting a couple of bites here. I'm gonna reel it in in a minute. I've got to pay, pay attention to the swimmers that have just turned up on the right hand side of the beach. Hopefully they'll use their common sense and stay over that side. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, a couple of nice bites on the rod already. Things are looking like it's gonna be a good day. There we go, look at that, look at that. Right then, so we managed to bag one little place. Very which is there. floppy. Very floppy, what do you think of it then? It's good. It's good, yeah? Ew, Ooh, can I name me. him Jerry? You can Sorry. name him Jerry. Yes. So we've got one fish there. Name Jerry. Name Jerry, that's on the fresh out log. Uh, we're gonna get him back in uh, so he can swim off for another day. All right, so let's get him back in. Nice release. Hold him in the water there. And away he goes. There he is with a face like a bloody smiled child at a toy shop. He's done it again, look. Free, free shot. Right, and so we're in the right place. Yeah, see what I, like, see what I did there? I bet you liked that, didn't you? Um, but let's see if we can try and find a couple more fish. Always do like finding a little bit of uh, treasure on the beach. Check around the groins when you come down fishing and you may find some treasure yourself.
Brian goes back into another couple of fish, the double bubble. Two place on the wishbone rig, which is pretty mangled up right now. Let's get them back in to fight another day. Not big, just small ones, but target fish achieved today. Free now, which is absolutely awesome. Let's get them back in. Right, so I'm just left with Harry on the beach now. Um, I've caught a couple of places and he wants to get in on the action. So uh, I've set him up one rod. Uh, we're just going to go for one single clip down rig for him uh, with just a hook, one single hook, sorry, clip down rig. And we're just going to cast out now and hopefully we'll be able to get you a flatfish. Yeah. Is that the plan? Right, so Harry's rod's now out. Managed to cast straight over the top of mine, so yeah. happy days. Woo! Let's do it. There he is, that's on me again. Right, so we're just going to measure Harry's fish out for the monthly competition. Well done, Harry, some nice fish, that is. Oh, that looks like a 31 centimetre. Oh, hang on, wait there. Uh, 30 mate, 30. I don't think we can get it to touch the 31. Oh, uh, yeah, 30 centimetre we'll call that. Well done mate. There's yeah. these uh, competition thing. If you want to do the competition, guys, head over to the UK Island Sea Anglers Facebook group. All the information's on there. That's Harry's fish. The competition, I've just got to try and beat him now. There it is. Real design fishing. And it's a nice place. Yeah. Awesome man. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, wicked. Well done, buddy. Right then, so we've hit in about, we're an hour before the high tide now. Harry has outdone me today so far. He's uh, come up trumps with a 30 centimetre place, which is a pretty nice fish for this time of the year. Yep. <laughs> and uh, now we're just waiting to see if we can get any more bites, really. We put uh, two rods back out um, and we're just waiting to see what happens, but it's been a fun day so far, hasn't it? Yep. What do hopefully, you think? Yeah, hopefully we get some fish. Hopefully we get some more fish, yeah, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. But I think we're doing good so far. What we had? Yeah. One, two, three, four, four, four plays so far. It's not bad. In a couple of hours. Let's see what else happens. Tons of anglers out today, absolutely loads. Um, I mean, I can see one, two, three, four, five, five that slide. And then on this side, we've got another four or five. So yeah, we're all out for the place. Hopefully this will be the place to be. A couple of twitches on the left hand side rod now. I'll come back and let you know if anything else happens. Right guys, got another small one here. Another small early season place. Happy days. Happy days. The green and the black bees are working, doing the magic. Fresh outs are awesome. I haven't even used any ragworm yet, fresh out to catch us a fish, so no fish, happy days. Right, so I'm out of the fresh lug, which I've used, uh, I'm now going to use the ragworm, which is here. I'm just going to bait up the ragworm. I like to leave a little bit out of the bottom, just as an attractor. We'll do the other side as well. There we go. And there's my two ragworm baits there. Let's cast these out. Right, so another one to me. So coming to the wishbone rig. Wishbone rig seems to be the one that seems to be getting most of the, uh, the fish today. Another one there, not big, but a fish is a fish, and I'll take it. Really, really thin. I mean, you won't be able to keep these to eat there if they're just too too thin. Um, you're going to want to wait till October when they fatten up, which is the second place run down here in Eastbourne. But yeah, nevertheless, a nice fish. There you go, Harry's reeling his rod in. You hold it out a bit, mate. Hold it out a bit. Hold it out there a bit. Like, other hand at the top. There you go. Hold it up, and then reel. I think the rod's a bit too big for him. <laughs> Stand on your back straight. Back straight. Now reel it in. 
Right, so Harry's into his second fish of the day. Another place. Having fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome, man. Huh? Right, we're going to get this little fella back in, yeah. and then I'm going to see if I've got anything on mine. Probably Feed won't him. have, but uh, there we go. What's he eating? He's eating the what? The lug one. Right, another one in the bag for me on the wishbone rig. This one looks like an okay size to be fair, considering the ones we've been pulling have been relatively small. So I'm going to get this one measured up and then we will get it back on its way. Right, so we've got the last bait out now uh, and we're just going to see if we bring anything else in. I mean, we've had a good day, haven't we? Yeah. You've I'm... had a, how many of you had? A couple of plates? Two, three plates? Yeah. I've had uh, about five or six, I can't, even, I can't even remember now. I think I lost count. But it's been and good I'm fun. He's you. He's beaten me so far by. I don't know actually, I think I picked, I think I've bought in a 31, but we'll have to have a look back through the video. Oh, 30. 30. Right, we're going to see what happens with this last cast. Hopefully we can bring another fish in, but if not, we've had a good day, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's see what we can do. Right, guys, so that is it for the end of the session. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's been an absolutely great session at Eastbourne. Uh, fishing for place uh, with Harry and earlier with Olivia and all as well. Uh, we've had a handful of plates up between us which has been absolutely fantastic. Definitely hit the target that we uh, set out to get today. Uh, it's been really nice. So yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.